I want to bring in John Brown. He is former member of Britain's Parliament. He is also Euro Pacific Capital morning, Senior econ Economic Consultant. John, it's good to see you this morning. Thanks very much for joining us. Well, let me just ask you right morning, out: Maria. What's your reaction to what has taken place last 48 hours in London? Well, it's the most embarrassing situation. It's uh, the world is laughing at the British circus after 30 months of squandered time. Uh, we have no deal. In fact, we have the deal that's worse than when we started. It it's, it's looks like a joke, but it's very, very serious. And it's very serious not just for Britain and Europe, but it's a large section of world trade with the second largest currency in the world, the European Union. So if things go bad, it's going to be bad for a lot of the world. It's a very serious situation, but it's reached a sort of laughing stock. And I get increasingly suspicious of uh, Prime Minister May. I thought she was going to be honest in going for Brexit. Um, but I look at this chaos and I ask myself, is it just an accident or is it by intent? Uh, it looks to me now, when she comes back with an impossible deal, which is worse than when we were started, that in a cricketing term, she's played the ball into the long grass which means you, when you're losing a match, you try to lose the ball so the match can't continue, and you end up with a draw. And, so, uh, so what are you saying, John? Are you saying she really doesn't, in her heart of hearts, want to leave Britain? She doesn't want to really leave the EU? Do you want to see a different uh, prime minister in, in, in the UK? Yes, she was, by her own admission, a Remainer. She's a, a globalist. She doesn't like Brexit at all. And I think she's in league with the European Union to play this thing, the long game, so that there's an impossible situation and gradually Brexit is renegotiated, negotiated, and, and uh, in fact, we'll be back where we started, but worse off because we won't have a, a position on the board. And of course, I feel like a growing majority of uh, Conservative members of Parliament that she must either tender her resignation or be uh, replaced by the 1922 committee in a vote of Conservative members of Parliament. I think it's becoming urgent because I think she's doing the country great harm. This whole journey to Europe, to me, is a laughing matter. Uh, and it's made England look ridiculous and is very, very embarrassing and extremely serious. Mm -hmm. John, what is the most likely outcome going to happen? I've heard rumors. It's John Layfield in New York. I've heard rumors that the 48 letters have already been gathered. They've been gathered for some time, waiting on a new confidence vote to do it at the right time. Are we going to see, if we do see a new prime minister, it's going to use, will probably be a conservative party member. Are we going to see a hard Brexit? Or is there a chance we're going to see another referendum? Because what you have right now, as you have articulated, is not what 17.4 million of Brits voted for to begin with. Exactly. Uh, now, of course, you could get rid of the Prime Minister two ways. One is a vote of confidence in the floor of the House, which would mean the fall of the government and probably, looking at the polls, Jeremy Corbyn as the next Prime Minister. Heaven forbid. <laughs> but the much neater way, the much neater way is for the Conservative Parliament, uh, members of Parliament to vote her out as leader of the party and so still have a conservative leader. And hopefully, if that happened, and probably likely if it happened, it would be a pro-Brexit prime minister, someone like Rees Mogg or, mm -hmm. or David Davis or, or Boris Johnson, someone like that. Well, meanwhile, um, meanwhile and, the economy hangs in the balance. I mean, what kind of an impact has this all had on the UK econ economy? Well, it's uncertainty. Nobody likes uncertainty. Businesses can't plan, and financial... Uh, people uh, have a very bad time. It's yeah. depressing on business and financials. John, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate your insights. John Brown.